Hello, friends. In order to understand the essence of a person, you have to get to know them in an unexpected situation. Many rich people should do what the protagonist of this story did. Don Montero was the owner of several luxurious restaurants in one of Spain's big cities in its outskirts. It so happened that he was diagnosed with cancer in its final stages. He experienced serious pain in his liver for a long time, but kept putting it off because he was a very busy businessman. At that point, there was no hope of recovery. He decided to dedicate his final months to giving a better life to those who deserved it. He dressed up as a homeless person and decided to visit his restaurants to see how his employees would react. The ways in which his employees treated him made him tear up. He first visited his restaurant that is known across the entire country. The manager walked up to him and was fuming. He demanded that the homeless man immediately leave the premises. Don Montero said that he wanted to eat at the restaurant because he has been hungry for a long time. The manager advised him to take a shower, take off his rags, and only then would he be allowed to even stand by the restaurant and watch the clients eat. He added that a man of your level would never be able to eat here. Montero was shocked. For many years, he worked on making his restaurants accessible to all social classes. He tried to instill in his employees a sense of respect towards visitors, regardless of their social status. He waited in the restaurant for a few more minutes, hoping that other restaurant workers would come to his defense. But things got even worse. In a few minutes, the chef came out and screamed, If you're hungry, you can go behind the restaurant. I just threw out yesterday's leftovers. It would be the best meal of your life. Afterwards, the security guard pushed the old man out of the restaurant. The owner could not believe it. The next restaurant was in a luxurious park. When he opened the door, a waitress immediately stood in his way. She complained to her manager that a hobo was trying to enter their elite establishment. The manager, in turn, proclaimed that the old man would not be able to even buy a candy at the restaurant. Montero said that he used to be a regular customer and often sat with the owner, but he went bankrupt and the bank took all of his property. If you call the owner of the restaurant, I think he would remember me, continued Montero. The manager responded by saying that he himself was the owner and that the old man better get out of here. The owner disguised as a homeless person became even more sad. The thought of his employees treating all homeless people in this way scared him. He wandered the streets for a long time and wondered what went wrong with his management. Why did his workers become so cruel? Finally, he entered his oldest restaurant where his right hand Rossio worked. Rossio was his assistant since the opening of the chain's first restaurant. There were many people inside, but Montero headed towards the bar where Rossio sat. He said, can you please give me some food? Rossio looked at him carefully. Montero thought that he was about to recognize him, but that didn't happen. Senor, with all due respect, this isn't a soup kitchen. Get out or I will be forced to call security. But I would only like a slice of bread. Everyone is throwing me out like a stray. But that's exactly what you look like. Fine people dine with us, not dubious individuals who beg. How can you say that? I used to be a prosperous businessman, but lost everything because of a tragedy. I know that deep in your heart, you're a good man who wants to help those in need. Rocio came up to Montero and quietly said, I invested a lot of energy into developing this restaurant chain. If it wasn't for me, the silly owner who's obsessed with helping the needy would have gone bankrupt a long time ago. But soon he'll die of cancer, and all of this will be mine. Listen to a wise man's advice. Don't go around restaurants asking for food and immediately get out of mine. Don Montero was so shocked that he left the restaurant with his eyes full of tears. This was a man whom he trusted with everything. Still, the owner decided to test the other restaurants. The situation was the same everywhere. The last restaurant was on the outskirts of the city, surrounded by beautiful green grass and a lake with swans. That's probably why the restaurant was totally packed. The owner was certain that the story would be the same as in the other places. As always, he was greeted at the door by a security guard who asked where the senor was headed. When Montero complained about being hungry and asked for a slice of bread, the manager was called. He mentally prepared himself for the same old story. When he heard the manager say politely, how can I help you? He told the same story of being sick, hungry, and kicked out of all the other restaurants like a stray dog. 
With visible sympathy, the manager told him to wait until the table opens up so that he could bring him some food. Don Montero waited outside for an hour and a half. Finally, he decided that he had been politely kicked out and was getting ready to leave. The manager caught up with him and invited him to come inside because his table was ready. In the corner of the restaurant stood a table that was full of food. The manager invited Don Montero, disguised as a homeless man, to sit at the table and told him his own story. My name is Mateo. I've been working here for only a year. I had a successful business, but one day I got into a car accident and lost everything. I sold all of my assets to pay for my wife's treatment, but the doctors couldn't save her. I began to drink and drank away all that was left. But one day I came here and asked for food. The owner hired me and returned me to normal life. At that point, Don Montero really did remember this man. Now I want to help you. The manager continued and invited him to come back the following day to start working. The following day, Don Montero gathered all of the chain's employees at the restaurant with the swans. When he entered the restaurant dressed like a homeless man, everyone except the employees of that restaurant began to whisper among themselves. He was escorted to the kitchen. Don Montero called one of the managers and asked him to meet him at the door. When he was left alone in the kitchen, he took off his makeup and came out to meet his employees while still wearing the homeless costume. Everyone was shocked and he announced his decision. I am firing all restaurant managers except Mateo. I don't need soulless people. All of Mateo's employees will become managers and later, the heirs of my restaurant. I don't have a family and consider my employees to be it. I wish all the best to all those who are leaving and hope that you will work on your souls. The owner of the restaurant chain decided to spend his last days with those employees who treated him kindly. It's never too late to fix your mistakes and to be remembered kindly in your relationships, work, and personal life. Friends, that's all for today. Share this interesting story with your friends and loved ones. Comment and give us a like. We'll see you next time.